Hello friends, Aronis here again, bringing you another episode that is going to be on the Dapper Gaff server, but currently I'm in my redstone testing world. So I've been working on something because I told you guys that I was going to be building a base, but I really want it to be kind of secretive. So I've been doing some experimentation with flying machines to try and create a 4x4 door that is flush with the ground. This is not as easy as I thought it would be. So last night I was unable to record, but I did get the first piece of this door working. Uh, it's the it's the iron piece here. That will move out of the way any time a red redstone input is put into that piston there. And then it will move back any time a redstone input is put into that trap door. The idea of this base is like industrial and automi uh, automated. <laughs> Automized. Alright, this is getting to be a bit too much for me right now, so this just keeps breaking itself. Um, I think I'm gonna use a simpler design. You know, I should probably actually scout out a location first. I'm gonna do that. So I found a rather interesting spot. It's right next to the pit. I would show you, but it's nighttime and not exactly safe to go out. But, it is a rather cool spot. I got a little overexcited and forgot to record myself building this door though. It's a much simpler design than that 4x4 one would have been. And right now it's hooked up to a temporary button, but the entire thing just slides down. It's kind of hard to uh, catch it because it is actually a pretty fast door, but it works very well actually. Just as long as you don't put any objects on top of it. The next thing I'm going to do is an elevator right here. Ah, that may be a bit of an issue. I did not bring any pistons for the second flying machine. Or any observers, actually. Oops. Well, that's going to make building the elevator a bit more difficult. Do I have any... I don't have any more, more ender pearls. Ah, I do have that, though. Be right back. Ah, crap. I, uh, fell off of a cliff after throwing an ender pearl before I could get my health back up. I teleported. <laughs> oh, boy. Add one to the gaff counter for that one. Definitely deserved that one. On the bright side, it was really close to where I just slept, so... That should be everything. Alright, I think this is about the level that I'm going to start my base. Because if I go to this level here, that means that every block that I mine that reveals blocks is a potential place that I can find diamonds. So that's very nice, because anytime I expand my base now, it's going to uh, have the potential to find valuables. Please tell me that's in my shulker, or in my ender chest. And it's not. I left my resources box. Right there. <sighs> Alright. This should prevent me from having to pillar up again. I forgot the quartz. I don't think I have any quartz anywhere in here. Another quartz, 20. Ooh. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I thought I was gonna have to make a whole nother trip. Alright, I think this will work. I can't see a reason why it wouldn't unless there's something weird with with uh, quasi-connectivity, which I really try to avoid when building anything, because that's a bug. We all know it's a bug. 
really hope it'll be patched at some point, so in order to keep everything forward compatible, I always try to minimize the number of things that I use that could be removed. Because I like everything I build to be as forward compatible as possible. Backwards compatible, I don't really care too much, but forward compatible is very important to me. Alright, fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, Oh, We were so close to greatness. That one. Yep, quasi-connectivity. Always screws me over. <sighs> Back to the drawing board. Now some of you guys are probably better with these things than I am and face palming at obvious solutions, but I'm not used to making flying machines, so cut me a little bit of slack, please. <laughs> ah, shit. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh. And it fused. Alright, I think that might work. But then I've said that several times. Ah, I made that the wrong way around. That's not too bad of a fix, though. Please work this time. I don't want to rebuild you again. It, it's fused again. Now how's it done that? Try again. How did it do? Mm, whatever. <laughs> Wait, why don't I just copy the one from up there? <laughs> Wait a minute here. Oh, I see. I lifted the... Okay, I avoided quasi-connectivity by raising that thing way away from that. Okay, I can, I can build that. Alright, so... try this out. Okay, that was promising. Oh, oh I need to move this over one. Uh, which one do I need to update for that? Right, I need to update this one. So I guess I'll just, uh, just temporarily put a block there. And there it goes. Come on, come on. Oh man. Okay, swimming it is. <laughs> Once I am healed up, I'm going to try to get something wired up so I can send this to the top and hopefully back down as well from the same button on the bottom end of the top. Let's give it a quick test and see if it works. <laughs> Cruising in style. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. I'm still planning on having the uh, the key code lock right around here with a uh, I don't have it on me. A barrel or a dispenser possibly. Oh, I am so happy with this thing. I do need to adjust that redstone up there so it's not in the way of this observer though. Unless I just... I could just mirror it. I think I'm going to mirror it. Okay, I've got the signal that comes up. It gets a little weird here. It goes into that block to a torch. The torch powers or unpowers this block and that's the one that leads to that. But it works. So that that is currently on because I have a lever holding the thing on because, you know, testing is not fun when you can't tell how far your redstone goes. Let's go on down. 
let's see if we can send and also receive. So that should probably replace, but for now it'll work. I just need to be able to send that up and call it back because I can ender pearl down or use water to go down if I have to. The hard thing is trying to use a, uh, the hard part is trying to get back up. So as long as I can go from the bottom to the top, looks like it just reached the station. As long as I can go from the bottom to the top. Yeah, there it goes. That should be good. Go. Let's start at the top and work our way down, shall we? Oh, I need materials for this. All the materials are downstairs. All right, <laughs> I guess I just get an elevator ride. And we arrive. That, once again, is just temporary. But we have this thing here. Oh. I still, I just can't get enough of these things. Um. That doesn't seem good. Maybe if I log off and log back on? Uh-oh. It's stuck. What is it stuck on? Oh, it's cause I, <laughs> cause I forgot, I forgot about that. I replaced one of the lights with, like I had a torch there, I replaced it with that. All right. All right, I'm almost there. Just got a couple more blocks here and I should be at the right level to poke my head out and to attach to one of the redstone lines leading to, oh, I know I've run out of space, leading to the thing I need. Oh, I've run out of redstone torches. Really? All right, well, the button up there is currently off, so I could just extend this. I have 31 pieces of redstone. I can't see it taking too much more than that to get down here. I have one repeater, though, which might be a bit... Oh, yeah, there's no way I'm getting all the way down there with 31 pieces. Actually, I might be able to. I'm going to see how far I can get. So I haven't used the repeater yet. I'm actually almost there. I think I can just connect it like this. Oh. No, I'll have, I'll have to use the repeater here because it'll run out before it gets there if the, uh, if the lever up here is off. Also, that's why the uh, thing is connected. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. I guess I'll have to run it to there. I break that, it ends there, so I, yeah, I can just... Seems like a waste of a repeater to me, but whatever. Where did it go? Oh, it's on the, on the floor there. There we go. So now I should have a way to get up and down completely hooked up. Let's see if that works. I really need to replace that with a button or a pressure plate or something that turns off after I leave. Should have sent it. Oh, because I disabled. Mm. Okay. I disabled the uh, one of the redstone torches connections 
so it would be defaulted to on. Yeah, right there. I forgot about that. And there goes. There goes the... Okay. Bye, elevator. Have a nice time. Oh, perfect. Alright. I've arrived at the top. I'm going to open the door here just so I can get a little bit of space. Alright, send the elevator down. Heard a zombie right here. Oh, there's the bug again. Where are you? Come back here, you. Ugh. Nope, okay. Flew away. Alright, so now down there. It has not yet arrived. And now it has. So now I should be able to push this. And this starts coming up. Awesome. So I've stopped uh, working on this for a second because. It is now daylight. Oop, please don't. And I thought I'd show you guys the stuff over there. Oh yeah, there is a an abandoned mine shaft down there, and a second ravine over here. But this is where the uh, you can kind of see the lava over there. That's the pillager outpost, and there's the beacon from the pit. Okay, this is infuriating. I really need to make a workspace. Because right now I don't have any space to work. Well, hello there. I will pick you up and take you elsewhere. Because I have a fortune pick, but I don't want to pull it out right now. Is there anything I'm missing around here? See, this is why it's great. Ooh. Rule number one, don't dig straight down. What are you thinking, Air? Oh my gosh. Seriously? And that's why you always dig a space around your uh, around your diamonds to make sure there's no lava. Yeah, that's the one drawback of building your base at this level. The lava. But one learns tricks to deal with it, having built so many uh, bases <laughs> this far down. Alright. I think the next thing I'm going to do is hook up the nether portal that I've built here so I can actually get down here quickly. Or rather, get around more quickly. Because right now, the only way I have to get back to the, uh, back to the pit, or anywhere honestly, is through that, uh, uh, what do you call it? through that elevator, as well as the door and the cavern. So, I would like to hook it up to the to the nether. There we go. So right here... Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything here, so I should be able to just dig out. Right, and this is going to be a quick and dirty portal. Alright, so there we go. That'll be my new portal. Very temporary portal, because I need to build up the space. But I think that is all I have time for today. Well, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that episode. Got a lot done on this new base, and I'm really looking forward to adding all the other mechanics that I was going to put into it. So, if you guys would consider subscribing that would be wonderful and if you liked of course as always feel free to like the video feel free to not like it feel free to dislike it i really don't care but anyway that's all i have for today have a wonderful day i'm out oh